Hi there, weavers. Welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving. Tonight, I wanted to give you a quick little video of uh, threading heddles. A couple different ways to thread heddles. I have Texolf heddles, and I use either a slaying hook or my fingers, uh, just kind of depending on my mood um, or how complicated the threading is and also what size the uh, threads are. If I am slaying with 8-2 uh, cotton like I am tonight, then I will probably just use my fingers. Um, if it's a complicated uh, draft, I will probably use my fingers. If it's a simple draft like it is tonight, then even though it's an 8-2 cotton, I will probably use a slaying hook because it just ends up being faster. But it's six to one to half a dozen to the other, your preference. So I thought I would show you both ways and let you decide what you like to do best. So let's go. I've got my um, heddles laid out here. And this is a very simple straight uh, threading draw. Um, one, two, one through eight, one, and then eight through two and just repeat it over and over. So it's very simple and easy to keep track of. However, I don't want to skip one by accident. So I follow the same procedure that I follow with even a complicated um, threading is I pull out all the heddles that I need first. And so I have uh, one through eight here. And then I will pull out the threads that I need and I have wound this thread uh, three at a time so I am going to need eight threads and so we're going to count out three six seven and eight we'll pull those aside now I know if I get to the end of my threading and I have don't have enough threads or I have one too many or two too many, I've done something wrong. So uh, we did one through eight and now we're going to do um, one. And so I'm holding these. You can see how they're flat here. And I can see where each thread is. It really doesn't matter which one of these three within this little bundle that I pick. But I just try and hold them flat. So then we're going to go eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two. Piece of cake. So now I will take them and the repeat is uh, two sets of eight, so then I'm just going to uh, I'll bundle them together and tie a half hitch. I believe that's what that's called. And move on to the next batch or the next set. So then I'm going to um, pull out uh, two petals on each shaft All right, so I've got two heddles on each shaft. 
The other thing that I do that I'll point out here, I'll raise the camera a little bit, is every 10 heddles I have marked um, the top with uh, just a magic marker. And that way I can count my heddles easily. I know there's, that's 10 right there. And there's 20, 22. So we'll go ahead and put you back down here. All right, so my next bundle here. So my colored thread is always going to be my first thread in the 16 thread sequence. So we'll just go ahead and get him out of the way. All right. So now I've got uh, two thread, two heddles. So I'm just going to separate these so that I don't get confused. And then count out my next um, bundle. All right, so it's three, six, Seven. All right. So I'm just going to position my fingers so that I can grab these fairly easily. And I'm hoping that you guys can see this. And you just have to be sure to go around to the right of the heddles that you haven't threaded yet. Okay. So you can see it goes pretty quick. And then this one... I can just go ahead and thread that one and then I need seven more. So three, six, seven. Now I'll demonstrate um, threading with my fingers. So I'm going to do uh, eight through two. So I'm going to grab one the first one, pull it back and create a loop as I'm pulling it back. And then I grab the heddle with my left hand. I stick the loop through the eye of the heddle, grab it with my right thumb and forefinger, and then I push it aside. So let's do that again. Grab it, make a loop, and the loop doesn't have to be at the very end, just enough to that you can work with it. helps that I have nails. I can grab, I can push my nail in between those threads pretty easily. Help separate them. Be sure you're not threading above your eye because the eye in your heddle, because then you might be able to raise your heddle, but you can't lower it. And in a countermarch loom, that 
is how a countermarch loom works. All right, so there I've got another or set threaded. The other thing that I like to do is um, for every two or three um, sections that I do or sets, I will insert a set of blank heddles. That way, if I do find a mistake, I have something to work with. And I won't have to go back too far. All right. So you just pull those over and um, ignore them. So I'll just continue on. I've got a few more to do. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so that you are notified when I post additional videos. Thanks and happy weaving!